Hello and welcome to another episode of The News You Missed, the big game news show that recaps the video game news that the big media outlets just seem to not care about. Today I have a lot of Nintendo stories, some Pokemon lore, a few PlayStation stories, and some Xbox news that you'll definitely want to hear about. And at the end I have an old boomer with a terrible take for streaming, so you'll definitely want to stay tuned for that. I want to start off, and as always, I just wanted to say that this show remains ad-free through your support on Patreon. One dollar a month gets you a day early viewing of these shows and keeps this show free so that I can speak my mind. I make absolutely no money off of YouTube doing this. It's just a hobby for me, and I hope that you truly enjoy it. Now, let's jump right into the first story. We're going to begin with the Retron Squared, or SQ, and it's a cool plug-and-play solution for those people out there who have physical Game Boy games, but they want to play it on their big TV. Now, again, I do have to note that obviously it would be cheaper to emulate. You could just buy a, a laptop, right, and plug it in and get you a USB controller and emulate the games. I digress. Some people feel certain ways. Some people like to play the actual hardware. So this is an option. It's very similar to the Superboy, except it's just a console. So check into it if you were looking for a solution for your Game Boy games. Nintendo has teamed up with Totino's for a limited time Switch giveaway at Walmart. So if you're a big pizza roll fan, and I really don't know who isn't, you could potentially win yourself a Nintendo Switch. Pokemon has gotten to the point where they are putting those alarms on cereal boxes that give away free Pokemon cards because Pokemon cards are so ridiculous right now in the TCG community. I mean, if you go into Walmart, you can't find any Pokemon cards whatsoever. But here, this is just insane. It's funny that it's on like $3 to $4 cereal boxes, but because of the Pokemon cards, you know people are going to be stealing these and trying to sell the cards. Yet again, another example of idiots out there not knowing the value of their Pokemon cards. Courtesy of Dr. Lava and the developers over at Pokemon, in a Gen 4 interview, Games Radar asked Masuda if there was a warehouse of lost Pokemon. He laughed and said, yep. Basically, they were talking about how that there were so many cut Pokemon over the years that they must have a warehouse somewhere that they fill with all of the art and the design Pokemon. And so he just laughs and jokes and says that, yeah, there's a ton of cut Pokemon. Probably more than we'll ever know in our lifetimes or be able to see. Nintendo has raised the Switch output to a record of 30 million on the stay-at-home demand. There's going to be a lot more Nintendo Switch consoles being produced. I'm quite sure that the same thing is going to happen with the Xbox One X series as well as the PlayStation 5s because there's a massive demand because a lot of people are at home because of the pandemic and then there's a massive shortage because of greater demand than expected and a lot of factories were closed because of COVID. So it's pretty wild and we're seeing insane number of sales for game consoles especially on the PS5 side. Neo, the world ends with you, producer hopes the IP can become its own series like Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts. There's not really much more to this interview other than a hopeful developer and creator wanting their series to continue forward. I'm with them. I don't really play the game that much. I just know about it in passing, but I know there's a lot of fans who really enjoy it. And so there you go. If you're one of them, this is probably good news for you. So Metopia has launched and check this out. There's so many people making such amazing designs. I wanted to highlight a few of my favorites. Uh, Mick Gurk being one of them from home movies. I mean, my God. It's so obscure, but like, look at this. This is crazy. It's a one to one. And then uh, the the memes. The memes are insane. So we have the uh, wait. It's all a me. And then always has been right there. Check this out. Perfect designs, man. Amazing what some artists can do uh, with the Switch hardware. And they're posting their pictures all over Twitter. If you're interested, in, I'm sure you can find plenty more. So Terry Crews wants Nintendo to localize Mother 3. Nintendo's probably not going to listen to him. It's nice that more prominent and popular people in our culture want Mother 3 to be localized. It's not going to happen more than likely because the content that's inside of it creates a massive shitstorm and nobody wants that especially Nintendo so that's probably why it's never going to be localized and the fact that the ROM is out there completely translated and localized Nintendo probably wouldn't gain anything from releasing it 
or at least not enough sales to recoup the need for translating it and fixing a lot of the issues. That's what I think. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. At one point in time, Earthbound was only $30. I got sent this, which is an old ad for Best Buy, and we have a new low price of $29.99 for Earthbound. I just want to go ahead and throw it out there that that's the same game that you can't even buy the cartridge alone for less than like a hundred dollars and if you wanted the complete box it would be a thousand dollars kicking myself for not buying a couple and just keeping them sealed back in the day but who could have foreseen the future uh the new pokemon stamps a joy a real pleasure to play it's a fun game it does have a few things that hold it back for example in the beginning it's a lot of grinding and the jungle is just way too long and there's too few pokemon but i really appreciate the system that they've implemented and the graphics are absolutely stunning so it's it's a real treasure it's a real gem and a fun experience to play through the levels again and again and see the changes that happen as you progress through the story if you're interested in seeing it i've streamed it over on twitch but i have more twitch news at the end of the video did you guys know that there's a mario game featured on the regional playstation in a uh, playstation game that i can't pronounce uh, to save my life there's two children and they're shown playing mario kart 64 one has bowser and the other has yoshi on the luigi raceway and you can see it very very clearly on the tv pretty cool that they snuck that in there i'm sure sony wouldn't have approved at the time grab your crew among us drops on playstation 4 and playstation 5 this year if you're interested if you guys haven't had the chance to play among us it's a fun game really cool the memes kind of have made it a little bit intolerable at times but it's still a great game to play uh returnal has released on the playstation 5 and guess what it's got a lot of great reviews a lot of people are saying that it is being review bombed on Metacritic, but I went over to Metacritic and the Metascore is actually around 86 to 89 for critic reviews and 7.5 based on the user score. So above average, pretty good PlayStation 5 game. I'm really happy that the PlayStation 5 finally has a game that a lot of people are very interested in and it's not a port or a sequel to something. It's its own type of game. Returnal is a roguelike series that is a third person shooter where you have to survive on a hostile alien planet. Pretty crazy. A lot of the critiques for the game is that it lacks a proper save system, but again, it's a roguelike and that's what it is. Images from Battlefield 6 have allegedly leaked ahead of the game's official reveal and they showcase big storms, a rocket ship, helicopters, beaches, and more. So I don't want to spoil this for anyone. I'm just going to show the main picture here and nothing more. You can check into it yourself if you want to, but these are supposedly the images. Take it where the grain is salt. Toys for Bob, the company that basically revived both Crash and Spyro, are now being forced to work on Call of Duty war zone oh no god no god please no 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 because activision i'm genuinely sorry from the bottom of my heart and when other developers have talked about being pulled and reassigned to other games it's a sign of a company dying microsoft has looked into reducing its xbox store cut from 30 percent to 12%. However, this story has an update to it and Microsoft has clarified that they aren't changing their policy or changing anything. And the documents that supported this story uh, have not been either denied or confirmed by Microsoft themselves either. Whether you want to play with bricks or board games, Games with Gold got you covered this month. Games with Gold have been released and we have Armello, Dungeons, Batman, well, Lego Batman and Tropical 4. I can attest that Lego Batman is a good time and Tropical 4 is a great game, but these are on the 360 and these are with games with gold, which means that you get to keep them free forever, regardless to if you have gold or not. And the other two are the Xbox One variants that will play on the Xbox One. I can't talk about them. I don't know how good the games are, but they're there. And if you're interested, there you go. Do I think the PlayStation 4's games for the PlayStation Plus is better? I think Battlefield 5 alone is a better game than all of the games that you get free with games with gold, unless you're really into Lego Batman. So there's my comment for all the people out there who think I hate Sony and love Nintendo and Xbox. It's not true. I definitely think PlayStation Plus does better. They're also offering Wreckfest for PlayStation 5 and Stranded in the Deep for the PS4. I don't know about Wreckfest or Stranded in the deep and i can't comment on them but i know battlefield 5 is a great game 
and it's definitely worth getting for free. Konami, due to timing, we will not be ready to present at E3 this year. Oh my god. Wow. Konami's not going to be showing us games that anybody wants to play. Who's surprised? Here's my surprised face. The same guys who took out Hideo Kojima, destroyed the Metal Gear series, talked about we're not going to be developing games anymore for consoles, and then their sudden return, yeah, they're not ready for E3. Shocker. Finally, I wanted to finish on this story. <laughs> Bill Maher had such a bad take on Twitch, stating, quote, You think I'm out of it because I'm not on Twitch? Well, maybe I get Twitch. But I just think people watching other people play video games is a waste of fucking time. <laughs> Big brain time from the boomer here. Uh, we have a guy who literally conducts a show where other people watch him talk is discussing how people watching other people is a waste of time. Bill Maher is a fucking joke. I don't know who the fuck actually watches this guy other than other boomers, other adults who are completely out of touch with the modern internet and the modern gaming age and just the modern age in general. What, what, who, who watches this dude, man? Who watches this joke? People who can't even figure out how smartphone apps work. I mean, come on, man. Are you fucking kidding me? You know, Twitch brings in billions to trillions. The video game industry industry brings in way past trillions every year. It dwarfs the Hollywood industry and you're gonna sit here and you're gonna try and talk shit about people watching other people. I want to give a big shout out to all my fans out there on Twitch. I stream uh, Tuesday through Friday 10 30 p.m. Eastern Time and I re recently was streaming Earthbound. Completed that game, almost got everything so I did like a 99% run but I do a lot of Pokemon challenges and recently I've been doing Pokemon Snap so if you want to check me out you can go ahead and check that out. I really appreciate you guys showing up. I want you to leave a like if you did enjoy any of these stories and uh, let me know your opinions in the comments down below. Now, you can hang out with us on Discord, you can check out my Patreon, you can check me out on Twitter, all the cool links are in the description below. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, good gaming, God bless, and thanks for watching.